everyone now today we are here to do an experiment in physics aim of this experiment is determination of the density of a solid by using spring balance and measuring cylinder let's discuss some theory related to this topic here we will talk about density density is the mass per unit volume having the formula density is equal to mass divided by volume the si unit of the mass is kilogram the SI unit of the volume is meter cube. So, due to it, the SI unit of the density is kilogram per meter cube. Material required to do this activity are spring balance, one body having the weight, measuring cylinder, having some water in it. The spring balance that we are using can measure the weight in two units one is in the newton second one is in the gram force now to find out the least count in the gram force scale see that the five divisions is equals to 100 gram force so one division is equals to 100 upon 5 it means one division is equals to 20 gram force here there is a point to make the adjustment of the zero point here i have adjusted in such a way that it is showing the read, reading zero gram force initially now by using the spring balance we will measure the weight of our body here i am using this body you can take any body to find out the weight i will Hang the body with spring balance and we will see that what is the reading shown by our spring balance. The reading in the gram force scale is equals to 300 gram force. It means the weight of this body is 300 gram force. I have taken some water in the measuring cylinder and you can see the volume of the water in the cylinder is 130 ml. So initial level of the water, initial volume of the water is 130 ml. Now we will note down in our observation table. Now let's note down our observation. The zero error of the spring balance, we have adjusted it to zero. Now, recorded weight of the body was 300 gram force. Actual weight of the body, we can calculate by using the formula recorded weight minus zero error. So 300 gram force minus 0 gram force and it is equals to 300 gram force. Now the actual mass of the body. This is the weight of the body 300 gram force. If we want to write down its mass in the grams then it is same in the numerical value. It means it is 300 just the unit is changed from gram force to gram. It means the actual mass of the body is 300 grams. Initial volume of the water we are denoting it by V1 and we have taken it as 130 ml. Now we will do the next step of our activity. Now we will hang this body with the hook of the spring balance and we will dip this body in the measuring cylinder having the water in it. When the body will enter in the water then the level of the water will increase. Now my 
full body is dipped in the water completely due to which there is increase in the level of the water and you can see now the level of the water is 170 ml so the level or you can say that the volume of the water when the body is in the water is 170 ml now we will note down this reading in our observation table now the final volume of the water we are representing it by v2 and we have got its value 170 ml and ml is same as centimeter cube so i can say that the final volume of the water is 170 cm cube now the volume of the body we can calculate it by using the formula volume of the water displaced and we can calculate it by final volume minus initial volume it means v2 minus v1 the value of the v2 is 170 ml and the value of the v1 is 130 ml and if we and if we will subtract it we will get 40 ml or you can write 40 cm cube now by using the formula of the density mass per unit volume mass we have calculated as 300 g so we will put here 300 g and the volume of the body is 40 cm cube so i will write 40 cm cube when i will solve it i will get 7.5 g per cm cube so the density of the body is 7.5 g per cm cube now from this activity we have learned that by using the spring balance we can find out the mass of a body and to find out the volume of the body we will immerse the body into the water and by immersing it in the water the level of the water will increase the increased level of the water will give us the volume of the body then by using the formula of the density that is mass per unit volume we can find out the density of the any body in this activity we have calculated the density of the body as 7.5 g per cm cube by using the same way you can find out the density of any body i hope this activity is clear to you and you can find out the density of any body and you have enjoyed this activity thank you so much